It is a 41 degree afternoon. Bit of a sparse crowd as you could imagine. We were supposed to play at six. We're lucky to be played at three and the third baseman moves well to the right of second base. Aloy stays at his normal position. Doesn't matter. Breaking ball strike three. Ben Bybee had to wait a while with Mono. T though when you're that cleanup hitter. And maybe now that's ball four. McLaughlin will walk. D as far as an average. So when it comes to situational, well, there you go. There's one. Base hit. And <laughs> You know, the kids got pop. Brutally cold at times. Another 3-2. That's high. Ball four. And what the bases are loaded. Trying to take another step towards getting out of this inning. Little looper out into left. Pechtel was deep. The shortstop Segwine went out made the play. Tagging is McLaughlin. And he's safe at the plate. Segwine had made a nice running grab. Couldn't get a lot on that throw. That was an interesting decision to send Ben, but it worked out perfectly. No, I don't think DVH uh, missed too much of that game either. <laughs> oh, did his hand? Let's take another look. Got a bit flat-footed, and that right hand went right into, into that into shoe, hand. and that left hand with the oven mitt didn't get to the base. So our crew is going to go into the pit of confusion and take a look. And All right, so we were just talking about Segwine putting that foot down. They're going to call it obstruction. It is indeed going to be called an obstruction. I don't know if Little Rock asked for this review, but by asking for the review, instead of getting the out, now they see the obstruction send Aloy to third base. And the pitch from Stubber, a little bit up and in. Did it hit him? It grazed him. So a hit batter will load the bases. Ahead of Jared Spraglot, Ben McLaughlin. Matchups. I may have to wait. Bases loaded, a pitch to Holt, a 2-2, and a payoff pitch. Another payoff pitch to Peyton Holt. Here it comes. Fans taking the hard route to that baseball. He got it. I thought he was going to have to go over several rows. Oh, he's going to give it to the young lady. Look at that smile. Another payoff pitch. Double digits and pitches in this sequence. Another one on the way. Another payoff. Another payoff pitch. 13th pitch of this at bat to Peyton Holt. And he wears it for ball for, for the HBP. And the first run will score. Trojans need an out, that's for sure. Little soft pop up. This will carry to Trevino and end a lengthy inning. A baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> and the pitch oh, that unsurprising. is cut on the mist. <laughs> Looks a little bit like Stovall right there. Mm hmm. And a liner to center. Here comes Edmondson. He will dive and make the catch and hold on. Bybee has retired the first five that he has faced in his season debut, but Jake Wright has a single. Able to drop run in uh, front of Lovich and left. You know, if you don't have the absolute elite, sometimes shifting helps out. Often running was right, doesn't matter. Themselves to baseball, 3-2 pitch. That's in, that's ball four. So Helfrick will walk to begin the second inning. Ravaged season. Helfrick runs. That ball's drilled to left center field, starting to carry back to the wall. For it is reason. gone. Opposite field home run by Peyton Stovall. And the Razorbacks have a 4 0 lead on home run number three for Peyton. And there's a happy Hog fan who came up with the baseball. Look at that, some juice the yeah. other way. I'm telling you, man, we got a couple guys, or uh, Arkansas's got a couple guys that can go that way. Good approach, stay on the ball well. But you're talking about a more powerful swing. A lot of former hogs on that list, pro hogs. That's a wave and a miss. Ben Bybee, another strikeout. Payoff from Bybee is strike three call. That one looked down. Bybee will take it for his fifth strikeout. One and two to Ty Rhodes. Chopper to first, that'll stay fair. Fielded by McLaughlin, waves off. Bybee takes it himself. Kick it, stay balanced <laughs> so you're not falling off the mound. That's ball four. That's a lot of kicks. That one smoked to left. 107 off the bat of Ahivo Loy. McLaughlin will turn second and hold there as Pecto plays it back in. Listen, as an Iowa football fan, my analyst would turn to me every week and say, how did the defensive players not go to the offensive players and say, get, your, you know, get it together. We're doing everything. you got to help us out. It's not that level here, but the pitching's been so dominant that a little offense might go a long ways, and Diggs will wave and miss. So Royal able to get the K, a big second out of the inning. 
Wagner is 0 for 1. He's going to drive a ball in the air right center. Should be playable. Williams gliding back, makes the catch as he reaches the track, and Arkansas will strand. A pitching execution standpoint, that's not exactly perfect, but Segwine rolls one by McLaughlin into right for the Trojans' second hit of the game. A chopper right to an infielder. There's Stovall, makes the play that you've uh, faced before in the West if you're a Razorback squad will not be the case every other year and Helfrich will take that 78 mile an hour pitch 3-0 pitch that's not close we were talking about with Struber in that first inning for Little Rock you know you get Helfrich at third Stovall at second McLaughlin at first that ball hit in the gap left center field towards the fence and four will score on another grand slam for the Razorbacks the Heba Lloyd clears the bases with one big swing and he's jumped the lead from 4-0 to 8-zip. And the Hogs have found the long ball stroke again, second of the game. Didn't want to jinx anything right there, but Aloy has had incredible success with bases loaded so far. And that's why. Three rolling with a walk. That ball's tagged towards the bullpen and left, and Jack Wagner has his first racer back home run. Up, out, and gone, so Wagner gets the start. And he's got himself a long ball as well. And Arkansas has made it a 9-0 lead. 388 feet for Wagner, who last year at Tarleton had a big year from the homer standpoint. 15 homers for the Texans. Number one as a hog feels pretty good. It's always nice getting that first one out of the way. Do something, bring something to this game. Off his fingertips, he rolls one to third. It's bobbled by Bamba, and Holt will reach. At first glance, it just looked like he, uh-oh. Edmondson shoots one out to left field, back to the fence, and it'll carry over. Another home run for the Razorbacks. Will Edmondson has his first as a Razorback, joining Wagner and Alloy on what has been a big inning for the Hogs, and they take advantage of that two out air and cash in two more runs. That got out quickly, 387 feet off the bat of Edmondson. And two Razorbacks have their first in an Arkansas uniform this inning. Two and two to Helfrich. That's going to be strike three. They got that one. Inning ends. So Pickering will take strike three, and that did not take long before he was excused. Here's Williams. Right to McLaughlin at first, and he's retired to 0 for 3. And run rule, the Trojans, and they may do it here. Pop up to McLaughlin. He's there. He's got it. Game over. And the Razorbacks with an 11-0 seven-inning shutout over the Trojans. Yeah. Mm -hmm.